And if you haven't put up yours yet, Here's kind of a little planner for you when to put your lights up. I think it's tomorrow we're going to put a yellow light on that because we're expecting some morning light snow temperatures. It's still going to be on the chilly side around 35 tomorrow. Friday, that's kind of more the green light day. Mostly cloudy. We may even catch some sunshine in the afternoon that may even bump us up to 40. But I think right now we're still looking at that being the best day to put up the light. Saturday, that's a no go. It's going to be rainy and windy. Yes, the temperature is going to be warmer, but you don't want to be out there in the rain or the wind. Sunday, some morning light snow. We're going to put a little yellow light on that one as well. But a lot of folks starting to get into the Christmas spirit. Take a look at, along the Fox River. Some folks already starting to decorate. If you've got it done, great. And now we're adding some snow to make it look even more picturesque. 21 right now with some light snow fly flurries flying across Waukesha. 22 in North Prairie as well as in McGuanago. Out in Ozaki County, you can see in Port Washington, they've got the lights going as well. A little bit of light snow moving on in 26 in Port Washington. And uh, at the Wisconsin Club, they're all decorated as well. 24 degrees, not snowing at the moment downtown, but that will be changing. We are watching this clipper system that's going to make that snow become much more widespread, especially in the next hour or so. That's when the most intense snow is going to begin to fall, and this is going to kind of start to taper off, especially as we get closer and closer to the morning commute. Notice though at 1130 the heaviest snow across all of southeastern Wisconsin. So if you didn't get the snow over the weekend, you're going to get it tonight heading into tomorrow morning. Notice at 430. Most of this is just a little flurry activity that will be tapering off, except in Sheboygan County still will be lingering for you folks at around 7, 8 o'clock. And then everybody by the afternoon may even catch a peak of sunshine. Definitely more clouds than sun expected. How much snow are we talking? Most of us about a half an inch up to about an inch. I think the higher totals will be from Whitewater down through Burlington, Lake Geneva, closer to an inch. Not going to be this kind of snowflake, though. This is a very pretty typical snowflake that you need a little bit more moisture in the air. These are plates or little tiny needles, it looks like. And that's what's going to create some potentially slick conditions on the morning commute. That's why I got to take it easy tomorrow. Pack some patience. 24 your overnight low tonight again with up to an inch of snow possible that will taper off then tomorrow morning. 35 degrees, a little bit of clearing in the afternoon. I think we'll see a bit more sunshine, especially as we get into your Friday as high pressure pushes some of those clouds away again. That's the best day out of the week to get some of those lights up. Then we're really watching this big system as we get into your Saturday morning. We could see a brief period of a wintry mix before it quickly changes all over to rain showers. So Yes, we're talking rain from rain to snow. You'll need the umbrella as we go into your Saturday. Here's a look though. It will be a damp, cold, dreary Saturday with wind, windy conditions and rainy conditions. A high of 43 that transitions over to some very light snow on Sunday and then the cold returns as we get into the work week. Your weather kid though smiling because you know kids love the snow. Joanna Holloman, Aww. she's two years old, loves to sing, so she'll be singing Let It Snow, Let It Snow. Let it snow. We have to look through the lens of the young. That's right. That's for sure. Thank you, Leslie. <laughs>